Hi guys, listen, you're probably not gonna see a lot of my face today. I actually am working on um, trying to get better equipment so you guys can see what I'm doing. I, I'm sure you don't wanna see this face all the time, right? Anyway, so I am making this Tom Ka Gai. Yeah, I have to pronounce it slow because sometimes I won't say it right. So look, another new pan. It's not new, but another pan. Don't have to use a big pot, but this will work too. So you want your heat on medium, okay? And you want to open up your coconut. Okay, you gotta shake it real good, guys. Come on, like a soda, you know, whatever. I don't know. I wish I was a bartender. I don't know how to flip these crazy cans. But if you don't shake real well, it kinda gets thick. Ooh, thick. See, look at that. Oh, good Lord. All right, let's see. So you want to pour two cans. This makes four, but um, really it all depends on how much you eat, guys. So how is everybody doing today? Huh? How is everyone? Right? Let me get some... Uh, oh my God, it's my last paper towel. Isn't that crazy? I just... This mess. I don't want to wait till... It does, but what I recommend you do is you take, yeah, what do you call this thing? A whisk? You kind of whisk it around. Okay, you want to get this heated up a little bit. And with medium heat, you know, it's going to take a little bit, but you don't want to bring it to a complete rolling boil, okay? But you do want to break down the coconut um, milk. God, it smells so good. It's really, it's kind of thick, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up adding a cup of water to give it that nice soup, you know, thin texture. Some people like their soups a little bit thicker, but this coconut milk is thick. It's thick and it, I think it will be too thick. So, look at me. I'm like lost today, guys. Lost. All right, so. What we're going to do is we're going to add spices. Hey, Mary. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking a break from pumpkin. Girl, take it. Take it. Okay, so we put the coconut milk in here. We're going to let it, you know, get warmed up. You're going to add one cup of water. Okay. These right here. They're kefir limes, kefir lime leaves. I hope you guys can see that. You kind of want to tear them in half and throw it in here. Okay. This is galanga. You can use ginger if you don't have galanga. If you go to the Asian grocery store, it's sold frozen. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Could you use chicken broth instead of water? Yeah, you could. You could. Um, as long as, you know, it's not too oily. I found some chicken broth that are a little bit oily. Um, but God, yeah, you're right. Chicken broth would be really good. It'd probably give it more flavor. Okay. So I cut up some lemongrass. Yeah. I didn't use the leaves this time. And you just want to stir it around. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Let's get this thing moving. So, Mary, I see you taking a break, girl. How many, how many pumpkin rolls do you have to make? I mean, you know, that's the one thing about doing lives is you. I don't want to keep it so long, but at the same time, I don't really have an option because I want people to see what it takes to make this stuff. I just don't want that video where you know everybody's pouring everything in. So, I'm trying to find time to um, find fillers to talk about and different things, um, you know, in relation to this cooking as well. I mean, the, oh God, guys, mm, if you can smell the flavor, you know what, let me, let me leave you for a second because you know what, I forgot the damn hot peppers. You know I can't cook without hot peppers. Let's see. Hi, you guys, I don't know if you can see me opening my freezer here because I do keep off. Oh, see, I 
freeze my peppers. I freeze them. I freeze them. Thir oh, good Lord, girl. Oh, 30 something. I can't see the other number, but it's all good. I break off the tips, guys. And you're supposed to cut them in half, but since I didn't prep this part of it, it's all good. I'm just going to throw it in there because honestly, when you cook them, it really does give it a whole lot of flavor. So it's up to you and how you want to do it. You don't have to add the peppers, you know, but I like heat, man. I like heat. I do. Anyways. All right. So moving on. I have to check my stove sometimes because I'm not sure if it's like warming up or what, but I guess it is. It probably is. Okay, so once this gets moving, okay, what did I do with my... See, I'm telling you, Mary, I am all over the place today, girl. I am. So, you guys doing anything big? I really miss y'all's ham. I do. Are you guys doing orders for that this time of year again? Because I'm telling you, that stuff is the bomb diggity, guys. If you don't know, Mary and Mike Deason, they are the grill sergeant in Solomon's Island. Guys, they have the best damn barbecue. Oh my God. They have done my wedding. They've done my family's wedding. That, that roast pig, girl, y'all have like the best recipe ever. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is, I didn't touch that chicken. That's chicken, okay? And I actually take that chicken and I cut it into bite size. Um, some of us has bigger mouths, so you know, what bite size means to you, I don't know. But anyways, what you're gonna do is put your chicken in. This is so damn easy, guys. Look at this. So, you put the chicken in there. Okay, you wanna squeeze your lime. I'm listening to Christmas music. Oh, you'll have to share it in this group. You, you should share it in this group because I really, really would love people to um, get y'all's turkeys and uh, ham. I'm telling you guys, if you have it, and if you wanna post about your rolls too, girl, and you feel like making a couple more, go right ahead, Be feel free to, because you know what, that's what I love about this private group is that we can share each other's recipes. It's not just all about Thai, you know what I'm saying? But I want it to be a safe place where no one's getting, you know, slammed or critiqued because they're cooking a certain way. Guys, this is just how we do it. So, but I don't want to make it spammy either. So anyways, let's see what you got there. I started recording yesterday when I started baking for you, but I looked up and my phone had... <laughs> okay, so that video of the non-prick that I made... I had to start it over like three or four times. Three or four times. Yeah, it was kind of insane. So, you can use lime juice if you want. Palm sugar. Okay, it says three tablespoons. I know that's three tablespoons. I measured it out. Fish sauce. Now, some people will add salt. I don't know why they would because fish sauce, fish sauce is already salty in the sh... Well, I almost said it. The crap stinks. It really does. But it tastes so damn good. I mean, I eat fish sauce with everything. Everything. I put it on my rice. I. It goes in most of my dishes. Oh, look, an empty piece of chicken. We can't let that go to waste. Cilantro right okay mushrooms i'm gonna go rinse these real quick i like to rinse my mushrooms right before i'm cooking them um because they say that you really shouldn't rinse them and let them say it's kind of like strawberries you kind of get it they they become mushy after a while and these are actually added last okay so excuse my ki my kitchen it is a hot mess in here i'm using a whisk okay guys oh my god can you see it can you see it it's starting to come together but you want to do is you want to cook this 
until it is completely, until your chicken is completely cooked. Guys, don't ask me what time or how long it takes because honestly, I don't know what your cooking environment is. I don't know if you have the heat on too high or the heat too low. I, time, I tend to let this boil a little bit, but not to the point, you know, where it starts burning stuff off. So it's more like of a rolling, roll, not quite a rolling boil, but close enough. So what you're gonna do is kind of keep stirring it, okay? This is my, uh, my holder, <laughs> my silly holder, guys. And look, I don't know if you guys do this or not. I do this with my cilantro. I do. I do it with my mint and my Thai basil. I cover it up and I fill it with water because it lasts longer, a whole lot longer. It's not getting black and mushy and yucky. So, and the other thing I'm doing today, I know you guys probably caught it, is I am actually going to do a Facebook Live on my regular timeline. Um, and I'll probably share it in here, but I'm actually going to the grocery store. Um, the Asian grocery store on top of that, you guys. And let me tell you something, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully they don't tell me to get out, but I'm kind of giving you a show around of how people in Asian grocery stores, when they go in there, it is a hot mess because nothing is organized like the way that we would normally think of like a regular grocery store. But this right here, I just, gosh, who's gonna create with the smell of vision I can do, I do the, <laughs> yeah, right, I mean, why waste more dishes, right, Tina? I like to hold it. I like to use whatever I can to hold whatever I can. So we're going to keep stirring this because I don't want it to burn. I don't. And you know what's nice? This is a great soup to have for lunch, for dinner. Hell, breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, when it's really cold. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I will actually add a little bit of rice to my bowl. And then I um, eat it with that. It's almost like a porridge in some aspects, but guys, I'm telling you, if you can just smell, smell. I know I'm feeling really silly today. I am, but I got my Christmas music on, y'all. I'm not gonna sing for you guys because you might run. You might run. What's playing right now? Carol Bells. I don't know that song. I mean, what's your favorite Christmas song, guys? Do you even listen to Christmas music or is it too early? But anyways, look, we're still cooking. We're still cooking. Oh, you know why it's taking forever? Cause I had it on the wrong, um, I don't know how to explain. So on your stove top, like these ceramic stove tops, there's two different settings on one of them. One is like a smaller portion for your pot and then one is a bit larger. See, see how there's one ring and then there's two. I had it on the other one. No wonder why it was taking so long to cook because the damn pot wasn't. See, now you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming up. Yeah. Mwah. Oh my God, you know, and I was supposed to make this yesterday for my uncle, but we were so pooped guys. We caught all that catfish. I mean, it took two people to bring up a 20 pound catfish, two people. And we were grunting. And normally when I go fishing, I don't usually catch stuff that big. I mean, I've caught some big stuff, but nothing that weighs 20 pounds. And can I tell you, my arms were so sore yesterday. I mean, I couldn't even raise them up. So it feels good today to know that I actually worked out muscles. I haven't worked in a long time. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? That's my travel lady, girls. You need travel? Come see her for sure. So anyways, here we go. We're going to keep cooking. And guys, I don't know if you know, but when you cook chicken, right? <clears throat> I'm going to show you something. My allergies are killing me today. But you can tell when your chicken is cooked. It's no longer pink on the inside. If you look real close, I don't know if you can see there's a little pink on the end there. That's not done yet, okay? It sure is not done yet. Oh, gosh. I'm just using every spatula. It don't matter, right? 
Give me a sec. I'm going to rinse out my mushrooms. Oh, I know what that song is. I can't sing it though. Yeah, you know that one? <laughs> I know, I know. So, oh my gosh. How easy was that, Mary? Right? It was so easy. I mean, really, guys, Thai cooking is so doggone easy. But you know what? It's finding the ingredients that make it a little bit difficult. So when I go on my Facebook Live today at the Asian grocery store, there is actually a little seasoning jar just for this. But I like to show you how to make it from scratch because you know that other stuff? Full of preservatives, guys. And I I like cooking from scratch. So not everybody can do it. Not everybody has the time to do it. But you know, with any cooking, no matter what you're cooking, there's always going to be prep time. You're gonna have to prep one way or the other. So, all right, here we go. That's that sweet chili, no, that roasted chili I made. It stinks to hell high water. All right, see, it's kind of boiling now. Just, it's a gentle boil. So you're gonna add your mushrooms. That is a half, was it half a cup? Yeah, no, eight ounces, whatever. I mean, I just use half of, you know, the kind that you buy in the store. Oh, and hey, you know, when I have someone hop on and they kind of just, I think they hop back off, but they are vegetarians. If you don't want chicken, Use shiitake mushrooms. Oh my God, it tastes just as good. Shiitake mushrooms, okay? And then you won't even need these mushrooms unless you want to. So let's see, I really need the recipe. Also, where can I get some of that stuff? What stuff, Mary? You have to tell me, okay? I have never put peppers in the freezer. Girl, that's how we, that, look, that's how my family, they all have it. They all have, fro we have frozen pepper for years, for years on end, and we just keep adding it, but it just gets so doggone, you know, we use it and go through it so much, it doesn't, it doesn't last long. It doesn't, so anyways. Mary, I'll have to answer your question later because I'm not sure what you're, what you're asking about, but this, guys, is almost done, almost done. So here's my little plate. You guys, so I used to sell Mary Kay, and I won these plates, and it's really nice. I love using them because it says enthusiasm, commitment, belief, and courage. And can I just tell you, cooking Thai food relaxes me. Cooking relaxes me. It is very relaxing. So I'm gonna get a spoonful, put it right there. It's spicy, guys, okay? In my recipe, it says a tablespoon. That might be a tablespoon. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, it's starting to boil. Turned it off. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Ready? What's that say? Oh, some of my stuff you put in there. Don't remember the name. Girl, I'll get you the recipe, okay? I'm going to put it out there. I just had to tweak it a little bit. You know me. I'm slow like that. But look, and you're just, can you guys see what I'm doing? Just pour it. Mmm. Guys, that stuff, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh my God, I cannot wait to have lunch. I gotta eat lunch with five dogs, five dogs. And they're all running in now this kitchen. I don't know if y'all see them in the background or not, but that is it. That is it. How quick and easy was that? And, and let me tell you, it is the best. It is really good. It's not something that I normally make in my house because I wasn't sure if my husband was a coconut milk fan, but you know what? Anything I put in front of his face, he eats. So anyways, guys, have an amazing Thanksgiving. 
I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you guys soon later on today, probably around four or five. Have a good one.